The Senate has uncovered how 2.2 billion naira collected by the Federal Ministry of Justice between 2017 and 2021 from the service wide votes was unaccounted for. The Senate Committee on Public Accounts, led by Senator Matthew Rogide, People's Democratic Party PDP Edo South, is currently investigating over 200 agencies that benefited from service wide votes between 2017 and 2021. The money involved is about 5 trillion naira. <laughs> Low baton. Ah, I was just going, I said 2.2 billion naira. No, no, money we. My lamb go come the put down for. When I call here five trillion, I say, "Hey, uh-huh, yo, wow! Uh, now you come, uh huh? Now you are calling money when it comes to when it comes to the keda of such person. A service wide vote, which is also known as consolidated revenue fund charge, is more or less the country's contingency fund in the annual budget. Investigation revealed that the service wide vote collected by the Ministry of Justice was not subjected to the scrutiny of the Office of Auditor General of the Federation and the Senate Standing Committee mandated to oversee it. At the investigative hearing weekend, members of the committee were surprised that the line item in the money collected from the service-wide votes in 2019 for capital projects was put as critical needs, according to the authority to incur expenditure. AIE produced by the Office of Accountant General of the Federation. The committee members were disturbed about the 650 million naira marked for the critical needs in the line item under capital expenditure. Surprisingly, in the record of the ministry, there was nothing to indicate that 650 million naira was received, but the AIEs from the Office of Accountant General of the Federation revealed that 650 million naira was released to the Ministry for Critical Need for Capital Expenditure in 2019. In addition, 955 million naira via AIS was released to the Ministry from SWV in 2017. But the record made available by the Ministry showed 549 million, which showed a difference of 460 million naira missing. In 2018, the ministry claimed to have received 492 million naira, but the releases from the Office of the Accountant General of the Federation showed that 591 million naira was released, which showed that 99 million naira is yet to be accounted for. In 2019, the record from the Accountant General Office showed that the ministry collected 650 million naira under capital projects with line item of critical need. The ministry failed to produce record that backed up the 650 million naira. In 2020, the record showed that the ministry collected 62 million naira for recurrent, just as in 2021, 1.4 billion naira was released from the office of the Accountant General through AIEs for recurrent expenditure, but the ministry claimed to have received 400 million naira. The ministry unable to present letters of request and approval for the money collected from service wide votes. On her part, Permanent Secretary of the Ministry of Justice, Mrs. B. E. Jedi, said the ministry would search for the relevant documents and present same to the committee on November 10th. Chairman of the committee, while speaking during the hearing, said the fund was not audited by the Auditor General because there was no budgetary provision. According to him, it was not audited by the Auditor General at all. There are no budgetary provision. Go and tell everyone that benefited from it and give us the necessary documents. Mrs. Jedi assured the committee to engage relevant departments that benefited from the fund and feed it back with the information needed. Hmm. You see, uh, this Buhari uh, is a disaster. This Buhari's government is a disaster. Somebody that came on the mantra of, oh, I'm going to fight corruption. If you want to fight corruption, it didn't, there's not, there are no things in place. It is the same AFCC and uh, ICPC that have been on ground. They are still using. There are no new things to be able to cop. We're not supposed to be even hearing all these things. We are supposed to be up, uh, you know, digging out those who had 
stolen before they came on board. Those are the things that we are supposed to be hearing. Not things happening in this regime because if you are really fighting corruption, you would have put put up some things up, you know, bring some new ideas on how to enhance, whether you are going to enhance a high CPC, you are going to enhance a EFCC, we are going to put some other things in place. You know, let us even go digital. That is why we are having problems. It is now cut out to end of the this thing and uh, their own tenor. That's why we are hearing all this. is By the time they leave, eh, what we are going to be hearing. You know, when I, like I was talking that uh, more, Malami, <laughs> if you understand the fracas that happened between him and uh, Magu, you will understand that uh, initially when we heard about 2 point something billion naira. We know that that's not what we are talking about. All of them are just covering themselves. But Buhari is a big disappointment. A big one at that. That one, Allah, 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 Allah. I have never seen. He has nothing. He has no idea. He has nothing because he doesn't speak with anybody. He doesn't talk to anybody. And that is how people have been having the opportunity to steal. And some people are still recruiting themselves to come after they must have gone. And they are telling us, hey, who is even going to fight corruption? If Buhari that they painted as somebody who is who has integrity could not even do nothing not even much he could not even do much you see the people that they said they arrested and those governors those former governors that they jailed those people their cases have been on ground their cases have been on ground before they came on board though. so they just had to finish that one at the end of the day they still release them who and who have they really in prison or jailed in this their administration we are not supposed to be hearing anything of corruption you can imagine the, the people still have the audacity audacity to be stealing this kind of money see anytime they tell you that uh, oh uh, there are uh, some money have not been appropriated for forget it money is already missing you can't get it back now story 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 that you go they talk because if they are sincere everything will be accurate you don't need to be looking for anything the documents will be there to back them up it's just unfortunate and uh, see malamio see the person that he is selling telling us that a uh, nam de Kano is a threat to national security so he himself is what is is a is I don't know I don't know the language the, ter the terminology to be used for him. If Namlekano is a threat to national security according to his own definition, how do we not say how do we not define him himself? You know, it's a peace to national safety, Abi. With all these things happening, it's just unfortunate. The leaders of this country, leaders of this country, under advanced political criminals, APC are worse than Anini. He will end up in jail at the end of his tenure. Now today, the ones we don't see before, how many of them? How many of them are cash? That is where we are having problem, because some people have not been taught a bitter lesson to teach others a lesson, but they won't get that. This is the worst government in the history of Nigeria as a country. They have virtually failed in everything. Obey court order. No corruption is one million percent under them. It's still under them that dollar found. His way to seven, he, 716 naira. What you did? It's 815 naira. That's when I checked last. No, dollar is 820. It's 50. All this one's available. They're still even behind, behind schedule. That is the Nigeria way of handling public funds. That is the reason why we are suffering in this country, in Nigeria. The juju this man has been using less, uh, has been helping him. If not, lots of, lots of financial allegations being heaps on him have never been investigated and appropriated appropriate action not taken and sanctioned nothing is happening and nothing will happen i say good be because the ones that will see enter if the ones that we are investigating that we enter and take over after them forget it nothing will happen after uncovering and crying wolf nothing will see happen our rubber stamp senators and house members nothing they could just look like a uh, which we know understand just like oh uh, just like off your mic uh -huh. and the and the rest uh, off your mic off your mic off your mic <laughs> that's how it will end up it caused government with perchance for satanic corruption and blankets of deception but qualms but the time peter will be entered you shall all account for all your loots malami is the biggest criminal in buhari's fulani terrorist government dead on arrival because is hiding in big daddy's pockets is in law justice minister for that matter when do we charge the criminals now malami is a should be investigated even a lot of things that uh, 
Sarah reporters are being able to open up. She said, if nothing happened, only in Nigeria that this kind of a thing is happening, but the person in question will remain in power. The corruption level of APC has reached the peak. They should not come and be telling us that the PDP, they are, they are thieves. You are worse than them. PZ, PDP, they be thieves, Nabina and Robbers. Hmm. APC. Wow.